We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you guys are doing good today. Make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So anyways, I want to do a follow-up on the whole Kendall and Kylie Jenner situation. So if you guys remember two weeks ago, I had did the video about them basically superimposing their faces on big name celebrity bands and musicians and everything else. Everybody from Ozzy Osbourne to Tupac Shakur to Biggie Smalls to The Doors to Metallica, Kiss, so on and so forth, okay? Now, if you guys all remember, Biggie's mother went off on their ass and let everybody know that Biggie's estate had nothing to do with this. They're saying that Alice is contemplating on suing them, but she's not sure yet. But there are two people who have decided to go forward with a lawsuit towards Kendall and Kylie Jenner, okay? So the first group of people that's going to be suing Kendall and Kylie is the musical group called The Doors, okay? Even though they released a public apology last week and everything, the lawyer for The Doors said that that's not enough and that they're still going to pursue legal action. So this is what TMZ is reporting. Even though they apologized to the offending artist, what The Doors attorney is saying is that that's not enough damages were done and they're still going to pursue the lawsuit so now besides the doors they've also been slapped with an additional lawsuit from the photographer who took those pictures of tupac shakur so the renowned photographer who took those pictures his name is michael miller he's taken lots of pictures of major celebrities everybody from easy e to angelina jolie jack nicholson so on and so forth so what he's saying is that the sisters did not ask permission to use his pictures, let alone superimpose their face on there. And the fact that they were selling the t-shirts and they made a profit off of the t-shirts before they took them down. He's saying because of that, he's going to pursue the lawsuit and he wants whatever they earned from those t-shirts. He wants a cut of those sales, even though once again, that they did apologize. He doesn't care about that. He's going forward with the lawsuit. Okay. So now a family representative, his name is Todd Wilson. He is representing Kylie and Kendall and he reached out to TMZ and this is what he's saying. He's saying that Kendall and Kylie gave their approval for the designs, but they rely on their brand to handle the rest. Essentially, suing them is like suing an actor for being in a movie. So that's what he's saying. So now that's what he's saying. But in my personal opinion, this proves everything I said in my original video, that these girls know nothing about the business aspect of it. They know nothing about trademark law, copyright all they do is basically just approve shit. They put their brand or their face on it and they call it a day. They know nothing about what goes on behind the scenes. And this is why they're in the trouble that they're currently in, okay? You can't call yourself a successful businesswoman and entrepreneur if you don't know what you're doing. And it's sad that they're able to sell their brand, sell their makeup, but again, they have nothing to do with the back end. All they're doing is picking colors. They're not in the factories mixing anything. They're not there with the workers who are sewing anything. They're literally just stealing people's designs, stealing people's ideas, getting handed designs, and slapping their brand on it and making really good money doing it, okay? And personally, I don't feel bad that they're getting sued because you know damn well if the roles were reversed and somebody decided to take t-shirts and put Kim Kardashian, Kylie, you know, Kendall, and the rest of the Jenner clan, and they decide to sell t-shirts with their likeness and their logo and their branding on there, Kris Jenner would have a fit and go from zero to 100 real quick, okay? And on top of that, she would sue whoever is using her daughter's images, logos, and branding. She would sue the hell out of them. So to me, that's just business. You know what I'm saying? They didn't take the proper precautions. They did not get permission from any of these artists. And just because they slapped their faces over the pictures does not mean that it's okay. Even if they supposedly had no idea what was happening, it's still their responsibility. Why? Because it's their brand, it's their name, they're the ones in the forefront, not the people behind the scenes. So like I said before, it just proves my theory that these girls don't create anything. They have people doing it. All they do is pretend to have all these good ideas, which are clearly not theirs. They clearly have so many people working for them to come up with these ideas and to brainstorm for them, and then they get all the credit. So my thing is you can't get credit when it goes good for you, okay? If you want credit for the Kylie Jenner uh, lip glosses and the lip kits, 
that's cool. But you got to take the good with the bad. You can't be happy when people give you kudos and shout outs and, and good credit for your makeup line. But then when you do something stupid like not getting permission from any of these artists or their estate, now all of a sudden you're a little girl. Now all of a sudden you didn't know. Now all of a sudden it's like suing an actor in the movie. Now, ah, boo boo, that's not how it works. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and then you have the facts of life, okay? You can't just be satisfied with the good, but then not want to take any personal responsibility for the bad. So again, I don't feel bad bad for them they're going to have to find a way to deal with the situation and let's not forget they're rich as hell so I'm sure they'll just pay all these people off to get them off their backs okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning Kendall and Kylie Jenner now being sued by not only the doors but Michael Miller who took the pictures of Tupac Shakur so once again don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you can get all your alerts all your notifications and you can also be down with the squad so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.